Hey guys, it's Renee. So this is gonna be my last Christmas DIY. For this, I'm gonna be working with fondant. I have a review for this one. It's the one by Wilton. I'm gonna be using this leaf squeaky cutter. Well, the big one is just a leaf. And these are the size of this. I'm just going to be rolling some fondant using my rolling pin with those two green rings on each side. Those are there so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my fondant. Cutting using the biggest cookie cutter. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for all of these colors, by the way lemon yellow, forest green, royal blue, tulip red, orange, and my purple by Wilton. I do have the preview for this one as well. For the top of my Christmas lights, I'm gonna be using this tree, rolling some fondant until it's like a like skinny shape like this with my roller again. And then I'm gonna be using this huge blade. I got it from a set, I think, for clay, I think. Don't remember it's the first time I used it, but for this, kind of makes sense because of the shape of my fondant cutting a line like this, placing my cookie cutter just to base myself on how much, like how thick I need this to be, and then just cutting like small squares out of this. Then I'm gonna be using some water, my brush, the one by Wilton, this comes in a set, I think they're worth it, but I'm gonna be adding some water and just placing the squares on top. Finally, I'm gonna be adding some touches or just details uh, using this dotting tool or just scribe tool. I do have the DIY for this one, it's actually really handy, and I'm gonna be adding some marks on like those squares. So these are the Christmas lights by themselves. They're actually really easy to make. You can use them to decorate anything, obviously, that you want. You know, cakes, cookies, cake pops, cupcakes. And on that note, I'm gonna be decorating some cupcakes. I'm using cake box mix. I don't make my cupcakes with cupcake liners anymore. I do have the DIY showing you how to make this and how they taste and all of that. I'm also gonna be using my cream cheese frosting by Nordstrom Cafe. I do have the review for that one and like the recipe and stuff. Piping this with my Wilton 1M. And then I'm gonna be using the colors that I used for my square bits those greens to add it to some cream cheese frosting. I added a ton of it and I'm gonna be placing this into this bag. You can use a Ziploc bag as well. I just happen to have this bag. I'm just making a tiny hole in there and this is supposed to be like the cord of my Christmas lights so I'm just gonna be making whatever shape I feel like doing, placing my Christmas lights on top. And this is what it looks like as a tree. Yeah guys, this is the idea that I want to share with you. It's like a really cute, easy, last minute really idea but more than anything I just want to wish you a um, Merry Christmas if you celebrate it i hope you have an amazing time thank you all so much for your support and i will hope you have a very merry christmas but yeah thank you so much for watching i will hope you liked this and found this helpful and handy or if not entertaining merry christmas take care and i'll talk to you later bye